What's going on ladies and gentlemen, this is your boy Jay and welcome back to another FC Cincinnati vlog. It is a beautiful day outside and it is a beautiful time for a 1-3 matchup for FC Cincinnati to go against Pittsburgh Riverhounds at Nipper Stadium. Oh my goodness, the amount of stuff that has gone on in the last week and a half, uh, it's unreal. Uh, many people who hardly saw the game against Tampa Bay, oh god, we, it was just bad. It, yeah, I'm glad we got out of Tampa really quickly with that win. Uh, didn't look really that great, to be quite honest with you, from all aspects of that. But I'll take three points. It is what it is. And I'm glad the boys actually managed to pull it out. Uh, we did leave with a few uh, suspensions on our hands. Uh, Patty's out. Blake Smith's out. Um, I know Matt Bain is still dealing with an injury right now, so we're kind of shorthanded in the back line. But expect Lasso to play. Expect Keenan to play. I expect, um, I believe, um, shoot, I'm trying to think about, obviously, Poison will be playing on the right side. So it's going to be very interesting to see what kind of lineup Koch put out today. But uh, we got an unbeaten streak of 15 matches that is on the line right now. And honestly, if we win this game, we secure our place in the USL playoffs in the Eastern Conference. So I'm really excited to see what these guys are going to do today. Like I said, it's going to be a beautiful atmosphere. Uh, I expect at least a good 20, 22,000 fans there today. And honestly, it's going to be, it should be really exciting. So for me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this show on the road and going to do, show you something really special today. I haven't done this in my three years of going to FC Cincinnati games, but I promise you, you're all going to enjoy this. Stick stick around, and I'll see you soon. Let's go, FC. Hi, welcome home, yeah. boys. Woo! Okay, so I finally got my scarf here. It took me about five months in order to get it, but it's a nice little setup for the party that actually used to be over at Atlanta 19, that way down there. So, honestly, nice little spot. And they actually have something, uh, they actually gave me this here, which is for uh, this childhood cancer. So, if you're, if you're a fan of Cincinnati, come over to, come over, uh, to Top Cats, pick up your scarf, and they're actually doing this all month, so please come out and support and try to raise awareness for childhood cancer and make sure we can beat this. But in the meantime, we're here drinking a beer. We look like we're my friends here. It's gonna be a good time. We're getting ready for the game and you know, cheers to you guys. Top Cats, it's not, it's not a bad little spot right here. I mean, uh, got a decent bar area. Looks like I think some, I think got another spot that's down below that maybe it's the same spot at the bar area up top, uh, up here up top. But honestly, it's, it's a really good spot. I'm doing this. And on top of that, I think I got my second dual pedal here. So, hey, cheers to the bar. I'm actually picking up a better spot. I don't say better, but a much larger spot to host more members. And, you know, it's going to be a good time today. Cheers. Why? Oh, FC Cincinnati! Going to be a good game today, I promise you that. 
I like I said, I expect about 20, 22,000 bare minimum to come up to the stadium. But honestly, I'm feeling the energy. Walking in with the Bailey got me hyped for this game. Come on, boys. Let's get three points. Let's go FCC. Keenan! A defender from Raleigh, North Carolina. Number three, Forrest Lasso! A defender from Malama Street. Number 12, Pa! Ladies and gentlemen, the score is nil-nil at the half. Honestly, back and forth game between us and Pittsburgh. Really good in terms of the uh, passing. I think it more towards the second half of this first half. Um, created a lot of chances, a lot of opportunities. Uh, Pittsburgh's back line is actually really solid and constantly created more, um, more opportunities in terms of later half in order for us to score on them. But Pittsburgh has been really good in goal. Uh, had a huge save. So shout out to him actually making a great, great effort in goal. The back line is still uh, doing their job. So hopefully we kind of create a chance coming out of the half. But let's go FCC. Let's get one start on the half. We need one. Let's go. Better than that. Way too easy for them to get back in the box and actually score one off, off of like the 20 yard. Come on, boys, we need one to even this up. Let's go.
back from the game and what a match. Oh my goodness. So first 45 minutes were just back and forth defensively. Then they scored the first goal for a lot of activity in the box, which I mean, fair play to them. They had the attacking pressure the entire match, which put us at a disadvantage. But then off the free kick for Deco to get us back even, and then for Nendo Adi to get his first goal and actually the game winner, which was fantastic to watch. I mean, shout out to the last. We actually secured our playoff position finally in the Eastern Conference. Uh, I think we might be the first team in the USO to actually secure our place, which is fantastic. I could not be more excited for this team and what this club has actually done this season. Oh my goodness. And on top of that, now we I think we win like maybe two or three more games. Uh, playoffs run through Cincinnati at this point, which honestly I'm very excited for. And to be as a fan, it makes me very happy that I've been able to watch this club from start to finish, get into something like this, to be able to grind out wins like this when it doesn't seem like the best situations at all. And they've done an amazing job. Koch has done an amazing job with this team in, in terms of recruiting, scouting, and getting the right players in place for them to make moments just like this. So before I end this vlog, I want to say thank you to uh, the Pride for actually, for honestly for me, being able to go and join in at something special. This is the first time I've actually been able to go to one of the supporter groups, uh, meet up spots beforehand, and actually enjoy the atmosphere. And Topcast was actually a really good spot. Actually met up with a few people too, walked in with the Bailey, and it felt really special. I really enjoyed every minute of it. So I'm very grateful, and hopefully my next time will be with either DI or the Bailey Bastards. So hopefully that will turn out to be very good very soon. I think that'll be on the 16th, so more to come on that. But in the meantime, guys, if you enjoyed this vlog, please drop a like at the bottom of the video. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Make sure you hit that notification bell to know when any of my videos are popping up. That way you know uh, when I put out a new vlog, video, or things of that nature. And I will see you all in my next FC Cincinnati vlog on the September 16th game against Toronto FC 2. This has been your boy Jay, and I will see you all very, very soon. Have a good one, and peace.